called Classroom with a View, and it's I started it uh, nine years ago, and it brings high schoolers out into the field for an academic learning experience. Kind of combines all my passions, but the background is I was a park ranger in Denali, and then the following year I went in to work as a homeschool support teacher, and I saw, immediately I saw a great gap there that high schoolers especially want hands-on learning experiences. There's, there's lots of materials and curriculum and programs and, and ways to make learning hands-on for grades K through eight, but there's not so many for high school, and, and they start losing that, um, that desire, that, that lifelong love of learning, because suddenly it turns into textbooks and tests, and they, they lose that connection that science should be hands-on and, and fun. The model is what they do is they study for a semester at home or two, and, and study all about the place where they're going. And then the actual trip, the field portion, is the culmination of all that, where they are, the textbook comes to life. Our, our mission, we have a fourfold mission. It's lifelong love of learning, um, self-esteem growth, leadership skills, and um, working together as a team. And so, um, you know, we would love it if they remember the marine biology after they leave Baja, but that's not our primary goal. That's, that's our vehicle for personal growth and love of learning and teamwork. So I think what the parents see most is we really teach a lot of leadership, hands-on leadership and teamwork when they're out in the field, and they see the difference when their children come home. They see higher self-esteem. They see leadership. They're treating their siblings better and things like that. In Denali National Park, we do ecology and leadership, are the credits. Uh, we've done a trip out in Lake Clark National Park in Alaska, which is a, you fly in on a float plane and you, that one's backpacking. You backpack cross country to another lake and get picked up. Um, we have done uh, the Chilkoot Trail, which is the old Gold Rush historic trail down near Skagway. And that one, they get some um, Alaska history credit as well as leadership and ecology. We have one where you, where you fly into the northernmost Gwich'in village, Old Crow, which is in the Yukon Territory in Canada. And that one's really unique. That one's um, social studies. They learn all about that culture there, the Gwich'in culture. And they rely heavily on the porcupine caribou herd, which is the controversial uh, one that uses anwar that goes part of the year into the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, where they want to drill. So the students kind of study that while they're there and learn about the traditional culture. And then we have a couple in Mexico. There's one in Baja where we do marine biology, ecology, and leadership while um, sea kayaking and snorkeling around a desert island in the, in the Sea of Cortez. And then there's one on mainland Mexico where we go to a tiny little fishing village and um, study Spanish hands-on. And it's a, it's a little tiny village that's like you know, a mile radius. You can walk everywhere and it's real quaint. It's not touristy and shuts down at six o'clock. And so we do Spanish lessons with a local who's a very talented teacher. And then the rest of the time, it's just mingling in the community, playing volleyball with the youth and um, lots of time spent with the teens there just to practice the Spanish and learn the culture. I think I just, you know, having come freshly out of Denali and then working in the homeschool program and I was single with no family so I had time, you know, to dream up things like this and, uh, you know, do it for fun in my spare time and uh, just combined the things I loved and what I was doing. It, it was able to combine my ranger background and my love of the outdoors, uh, my love of working with youth and and, and then teaching, making it academic, you know, combining those.